A handful of Bay Area cities are getting money to help fight organized retail crime. And officials are starting to announce how they're going to use that money. Ground Force Michael Thomas is live in Palo Alto with the latest on that. Good morning. Hi, good morning, everyone. You know, this is really a large amount of money, and it's ultimately to help crack down on this retail theft we're seeing statewide. And Governor Gavin Newsom is set to be with the San Francisco District Attorney and the City Police Chief, along with the Los Angeles Police Department, to talk about where this money is going. We talk about those cities. Take a look on your screen. We've got them up for you right now. This is a handful of those Bay Area cities that are going to be getting this money. We're talking about $267 million in new state grant money that's going to be given out. Places like Daly City, Free. Mont, Palo Alto, San Bruno, Vacaville, Santa Rosa, and ultimately this money is going to help crack down on organized retail theft and along with other types of property crime with things like vehicle and Cadillac converter theft, agencies had to apply for these grants earlier this summer and Palo Alto police say that it's going to get around $5.1 million of this money. They plan to add more staff for patrolling along with new electronics in some of their vehicles with GPSs to help with criminals who may be fleeing the scene. Now, the application was open to everyone, and what we saw, that list of recipients that are going to be getting the money in the Bay Area, the city of Oakland was not on that list, with the NAACP citing a Chronicle report that said Oakland city leaders failed to submit a complete application by the deadline. Take a look. This is a statement from the NAACP saying in part, quote, this is a devastating blow to citizens and small businesses who have been clamoring for crime prevention measures, which could have been funded by the millions of dollars and grant offer, grants offered by the state. This money could have been used for extra police patrols, squad cars, and automated license plate readers to track down criminals, end quote. I did reach out to the city of Oakland this morning to get a comment on their part of it. I have not heard back as of yet. When it comes to this funding, it's going to be dispersed over the next three years, and the first disbursement, disbursement excuse me, is said to go out on October 1st in the next two weeks. That's the very latest here in Palo Alto. I'm Michael Thomas. I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Michael.